Good morning, my beautiful friends. Uh, today you are joining me in southern France. I'm currently in the Boss About apartment in Nice. It's super cute, super kitsch. I've had a glorious few days of relaxation here. It's some of my first few days off in over a month. So I am stoked to be resting and chilling out and eating good food. And today I'm going on a bit of an adventure because I figure I can't stay in bed watching Netflix all day long. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, Nice in southern France is right nearby Monaco. And Monaco is one of the smallest and richest countries in the entire world. I'm sure you've heard of it. Think lots of super yachts, beautiful coastline, all that jazz. So today you're going to come with me to check it out. and it's crazy to think this is a whole different country like what only 40 minutes train ride from Nice super easy to get here the train ticket was only three euro absolute bargain uh, to see a whole new country so my plan is to hit up some of the spots that I marked off on my Google Maps and the first of which is the Monte Carlo Casino <music> That's Monaco for you. Don't go on their lawns, guys. plan on coming to Monte Carlo one day. Uh, getting into the casino is actually really easy. They just might check your bags, um, do this whole security thing and then you can just go in and have a look inside at the gorgeous interior. Super touristic with all of those little chips. Um, if you do want to actually go bet you have to be 18 years old of course and you can go play on the slot machines just dressed like I am right now. However if you want to play a table game after 2 p.m. You've got to be in your, you've got to be dressed to the nines. You've got to be looking smart and chipper in a suit. Nothing like this. And then you can go bet money. Um, whenever I come to a wealthy place like this, I find myself questioning life a little bit and remembering how corrupt it is that people spend all this money on things like these super yachts. And yet so many people in this world are struggling. Um, so there you go. There's some life questions for you uh, today on a Wednesday in Monaco. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just enjoying the sea views and the mountains in the backdrop is stunning. I can see why this place has become so famous. That spot right over there is actually the palace belonging to the prince. Yeah, I can definitely afford to shop there on a tour guide wage. <laughs> also, God bless strangers who take photos for you and go all the different angles, all the different lighting and just know what they're doing. Like, thank you God for those people because how would solo travellers get good photos otherwise? I don't know. I must say, one thing I am loving about this place is all the green spaces and beautiful plants <laughs> because at least their money is going to something other than gambling and diamonds, am I right? <laughs> So as 
like I just showed you, up there in the visitor's centre, you can actually get your passport stamp for free to show that you've been to Monaco, which is pretty cool. And I met a girl called Manon who had been in Tasmania three days ago and she works there and lives in Monaco. What are the chances? So my plan now is to wander down to one of the main promenades and then see what happens from there. Might have some lunch, I'm a little bit hungry. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed my peanut butter and banana lunch. That is how to eat cheap, boys and girls. Grab something from the supermarket and bring it along with you to the wealthiest country in the world. I'm feeling pretty satisfied with what I've seen of Monaco. I really just came here to get the feel for it and check it out, say that I've been here so that I can tell passengers more about it when we come into Nice. So the plan for the moment is to now get back to the train station and hop on a train to the noise hop on the train to Villafranche which is one of the nearby like coastal beach towns on the way back to Nice and I'm really wanting to get into the water because it is hot some random cafe just tried to charge me three euro fifty for a bottle of water this is what I don't like about Europe people apparently there's some famous car race called the Monaco Grand Prix you might have heard of it well, it actually happens on the road right above me. And all around Monaco for that matter. It's a pretty big deal. <laughs> I definitely underestimated how hilly Monte Carlo was going to be, which I mean, makes pure sense because it's located on a cliff. Oh well, time to get fit, fit for summer. <laughs> Just like that, I am back in France. And now it is time to go enjoy the beach. I have been waiting for this moment all day long. It's an understatement, so let's go. apartment I am feeling very sun-kissed very sleepy there's going to be a nap coming up very soon after I shower and have a big bowl of cereal uh, but it has been an amazing day out if you are ever in southern France and in the Nice area I'd highly recommend hopping on the awesome train system get your butt out to Monaco go to a beautiful beach like Villa Franche along the coastline and just enjoy this place I think I understand now why everybody likes southern france so much so thank you so much for watching everyone uh, if you've enjoyed it please subscribe i'll be traveling to more and more places um, over the coming months and i can't wait to share them all with you but for now know that you are so loved have an amazing day thanks guys